down to the last four. Both teams playing delightful football throughout the tournament, but who will progress to the World Cup final? Stay tuned to find out live here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to this World Cup semi-final. I'm Derek Ray, joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And these two teams are in for a spine-tingling welcome. It goes with the territory, Stuart, when it's Italy against France. Yeah, two great footballing nations. France have had their moments. Remember that 2006 World Cup final in Berlin, and Italy got the better of France. France were the favourites. If France play at their very best, they should beat Italy here and get to the final, and they've got every chance of lifting that trophy. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Kylian Mbappe starts with Usman Dembele in the wide positions. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Francesco Acerbi plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Lorenzo Pellegrini plays alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Ciro Immobile. And now they get the ball rolling. Leonardo Spinazzola. Pellegrini. Barella. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. The cross is on. Di Lorenzo. Return to Chiesa, and it might be no way through. And he's fired over the corner. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Big chance! That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. about the short corner Varela and making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross well the referee wasn't going to let that go well he knows he's on his last warning after that one well I don't think it warranted a yellow card he made a genuine attempt to play the ball there
and fired from the flank into the area and Italy giving the ball away can they trouble the opposition this time well nothing comes of it it looked promising an exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful Stuart what are you expecting to see from Mbappe well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Chiesa. Barella. Well, able to close down the shot. Dembele it's with Giroud what a pass that lacks quality useful looking ball can they stop it going in Griezmann Jules Koundé on the ball Attempted, and the keeper more than equal to it. Well, they're going for the short one. Mbappe, and a fine stop. The corner kicks keep on coming. It's a short one. A delivery from Dembele. Oh, blocked it! Griezmann. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Disappointing for France to give it away like that. Hero Immobile. Dembele. And couldn't keep himself onside. He's found a pocket of space. Spinazzola. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Immobile. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle. And a corner will be next. Trying to pick out a teammate. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Well, he's certainly been warned, Stuart. No more challenges like that. Well, he's in no doubt now. He can't foul again.
and crossing towards the far post but keeper's ball they'll be disappointed with that delivery Barella Raspadori a creative look about this but nothing comes of it Aurelien Chouameni racing forward trying to catch them out Giroud will it be sufficiently imaginative looked like an effective counter attack but brilliantly read oh nice ball over the top to chase Immobile Di Lorenzo Barella has it and players waiting in the centre good strength to keep the ball Di Lorenzo well there's a keeper on song well how did he stop that that's just unbelievable so the corner played into the box and a no-nonsense clearance Chiesa is protecting it well and Italy giving the ball away now counter-attacking possibilities here dangerous looking through ball couldn't keep it Di Lorenzo Chiesa options in the middle can he put them in front oh no he's missed the opportunity and they remain level well he just lacked composure there didn't he they should be ahead now Mercado. Camavinga Aurelia Chuameni Offside, close one Camavinga Plenty of support here Here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. But the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Dembele Olivier Giroud but after that fantastic effort it's gone out for a throw in well, the referee took note of the earlier incident and now issues the yellow card well, an opportunity for France perhaps to make it look even better well clattered away A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. And so the battle commences.
Well, that's advantage France after the first 45. But plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the referee has decided to book him. Well, it's not a good challenge, and quite rightly, he gets a yellow card for that. Well, the free kick needed to be a lot better than that. Straight into the wall. Fractionally offside. Mbappe takes the shot. Well, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. A short corner here. Mbappe. Can he find the net? A routine save. Federico Chiesa. Well, visionary passing. And a goal. The equaliser. Superb entertainment. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Griezmann. Moving into the advanced position. Pellegrini. Can they forge ahead? No, chance missed. And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Coman. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. And they fancy a short one. And a significant block following that cross. Federico Chiesa. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Good tackle taken away. Griezmann. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Time for a change then. Thirty minutes left for play. Spinazzola. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Could be a chance to break here. Coman. They need to get bodies back. Great block. Tempele. Now Griezmann. Really vital interception here. Federico Chiesa. And on to Di Lorenzo. This attack looks highly promising. Immobile. Now with Pellegrini. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. And a substitution in the offing. Going short. Immobile. And a goal! How important could that be in the story of this semi-final? Wild celebrations! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So, back underway. Will there be a response from France here?
It did look on for them, but not to be. Chiro Immobile. Spinazzola. Possession seeded by Italy. Mbappe. Now Griezmann. Hernandez. And after the cross, a tremendous block. And Italy will get the throw in. Federico Chiesa. Now well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Pellegrini. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. A really intense pressure applied. Still a chance. Threat over for now, it seems. Tempele. Now Coman. Just made sure nothing came of that. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. Well, no escape. Not an immediate yellow card, but the referee deals with him now. And how about the short corner? Mbappe. Upamecano. Hernandez. Now with Rabio. Just cutting off the supply. He has teammates around him. And he could be in proper trouble here. And that is defending of the highest order. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Defenders need to cover. Storm weathered, it seems. Chiesa. On to Pellegrini. Chiesa. Return to Varela. Could be. Can they stop it going in? Varela. Back with Chiesa. Can he take advantage? And it's in! A two-goal cushion! And just look at these fans! They now believe that a trip to the final is theirs! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And what a goal that is from him, Oberlei. He hits it with power and accuracy. He's such a good finisher. Now the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Kofana. Into the advanced position. Oh, the threat is there. Hernandez. Here's Mbappe. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. It's got to be! And there it is! All in the melting pot now, and what a finale we could have in store for us. Well, as you can see, that's a brilliant half volley. He strikes it with so much control. That's an excellent finish. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. And it's all over! Italy will be in the 2022 World Cup final. Well, it was tight in the end, but really they should have won this game more comfortably because their forward play was excellent. They just didn't defend very well, something they would need to address before the final. Well, one man who certainly caught the eye, Ciro Immobile, interested to get your verdict as regards his performance. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.